welcome to the Advanced Visual Effects two-part series here at E3D.com. My name is Jeremy Baldwin, and during the next few hours we will be exploring many methods and techniques that will expose you to some of the practices used in AAA Studios today. In part two of this crash course, we will begin by taking a look at creating custom geometry that will be used to construct energy shaders within Unreal. We will then construct multiple energy behaviors within Cascade. Moving back to 3ds Max briefly, we will take a look at how to capture and create fake volumetric mesh data that will then be used in Unreal for real-time scriptable booleans. We will then look at creating a quick and unique master lens flare material. After generating a small library of material instances, we will build a cinematic lens flare. We will focus on billboard visuals, but will also explore and implement fake 3D artifacts. Next, we will build several complex shaders using UV coordinates to manipulate world coordinate parameters and vertex animations. This will allow us to build decision-dependent events within a dynamic gameplay scenario. Utilizing Kismet, we will construct a flying drone that has a decision-based event triggered by a simple console command. The drone will continue its preset behavior, but on the event triggered, it will scan the surrounding environment. Additionally, this setup will be easy to modify and expand upon. Returning to our 3D software package, there will be a brief overview of how to build a simple rig that will allow us to interpolate between two different transforms. We will then build a stylized shader that will be decision dependent and swap between two sketch states and an opacity state. This will then be married to our rigged platform to demonstrate a unique method for hiding and revealing geometry before an animation is initiated. We will take a look at creating a simple prefab that will make this fully functional platform easy to duplicate and script for large gameplay events. To wrap up our Crash Course series, we will redesign the rocket launcher in roughly an hour's time. After developing several complex shaders, we will move into Cascade where our goal will be to create a holographic-like muzzle flash, distortion-based projectile, and energy effects that linger after detonation. We will utilize what we have learned during our course and kitbash several existing particle effects to help speed up the development process. The end result will be a dark matter weapon that explores some unique methods for animation during a particle effect and how to manipulate vertex offsets through Cascade. In this second DVD, not only will we be expanding upon the first, but we will be learning a lot of new things as well as exploring interesting and dynamic ways to implement visual effects in multiple scenarios. So let's head over to the first section and get started.